Hi everyone, this is Deb. I um, first have to apologize. I have received four envelopes, but they've come in over like the last four or five days. So to those who sent them to me, I do apologize for being so late with this video. Um, the last two days I was at my mother's home doing a yard sale. Unfortunately, we had wonderful weather. It was like 78 degrees and sunny. Unlike today, which is windy, raining, and 40 degrees Fahrenheit we're talking about here. So, yeah. Burr! <laughs> yeah, but, I have to say, at least it's not the snow that some of the folks are having out in the Midwest. Or, ugh, yeah, I just... Yikes. Anyway. And nor is it ice storm, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, so I believe these are maybe the last four that I'm getting for uh, the David B. challenge, I think. Uh, I don't know. I would think so because I got like 20 something already. Anyway, this one is from Angie Jambrick. I don't recognize the name, so let's see. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. I rattled. This one rattled, so I hope it didn't break. Let's see what we have here. Oh, Angie! <laughs> this is not the David B. Um, okay, duh, me. I had made a wish on um, Crafty Lady Lisa's channel a week or two ago, and I kind of forgot about it, Angie. So sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, she said she had some bottle caps, so here they are. And I was like, I cannot understand what's rattling in this. I hope something didn't break. So she has a whole bag full of coke bottle caps for me yay i can order bottle caps thank you so much angie i really appreciate it really really do all righty that might be coming up in another video near you soon <laughs> thank you so much i completely you know i didn't forget about it forget about it but i was like did i i really thought it was part of the david b friend mail challenge so you never know guys Thank you very much, Angie. I appreciate it. So, I should have recognized the name. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the next one is from Kay Kennedy. Kennedy. I think this came all the way from Canada, maybe? Winnipeg, yeah. Where's Winnipeg? Um, so, anyway, let's see what it says. Yep, greetings from Canada. Hope you enjoy the goodies, Catherine. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Look at this pretty orchid. I believe that's an orchid. Yes, I can't grow orchids. <laughs> so, oh, and the back even has it on. See, look. How pretty. Okay, thank you so much. Let me set this over here. Now, see, I don't know where Winnipeg is. Um, MB's not Ontario, so I'm trying to think where that is much further north probably huh a or should i say a that's what they say in ontario anyway i go fishing up there some and camping in the summertime once in a while okay i got some little itty bitty clothes pins aren't they cute and they're turquoise she must have watched some of my videos and those turquoise is my favorite color it's an elephant how cute look at the eyelashes i love how they put the eyelashes on that is so cute. And a bird. Oh, look at the little bird. I don't know which kind. It's not a yellow finch. Maybe an Oriole. I don't think so. Anyway, it's a cute bird. And there's these also the birdie paper clip. I love those birdie. Where do you guys find all these birdie paper clips? They're so cute. I have to do my planner yet for the week. I will try and use it in there. Butterflies, turquoise butterfly bling. Oh my. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, they're gorgeous. I don't know if they're going to go on anybody's packages. <laughs> I might have to keep them for me. Oh. 1955 Reserve Seat. French National Railroad. It's a bit of ephemera, a ticket. In false United States lines cabin class 
Huh. Now, is that a train? That looks like that has to be air. No, that's airfare. That has to be airfare. You know, I, I did a um, cabin on a train to go to Florida one time, which is a 16-hour train ride and a 24-hour ride. I think I vote for the 24-hour ride. It wasn't bad, but eh, I don't know. Okay, Bath Drive-In Theater, Mass, Bath, Bath, New York. There's a bath in Pennsylvania, too, so we're all clean. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm, ugh, I was so exhausted last night. I haven't done a whole lot today other than my oh-so-inspired at the wee hours of the morning to get it done. Look at all these cute little critters. We got the hedgehog and the little tiny bear and the chipmunk the chipmunk's almost as big as the bear <laughs> so cute they're so cute and some little duckies little duckies cute cute thank you so much and oh this bling is pretty too very pretty bling look at that that'll be pretty in little flowers or something very pretty i love it thank you so much Catherine. i really appreciate it Love those blue butterflies, especially in the birdie clip and all of it, really. I love it all. Thank you so much. Let me just push this aside. And, or actually, let me put it back in the baggie. That would be a better thing to do. That would be a better thing to do so I don't lose it. And then I'll probably mark the bag that it was from you and just put it in my, my bling drawer or something all right let me put that here okay so the next one thank you Catherine. if i didn't say that already the next one does say david's challenge and it's from gail mora and she's in utah and i think i heard david say she doesn't have a channel but i will double check just to make sure yep, have more <laughs> watch my hand get stuck huh that would be a deb kind of thing to do okay i think i got it now okay oh look at the seahorses i they are really gorgeous look at those they're like all different colors and they're foil thank you so much i love seahorses i'm not big into the mermaids and stuff but i do love the seahorses and I was actually just thinking recently of doing, um, in May probably, a, um, an ocean theme, some ocean theme things. I got a turquoise blingy flower, bling, 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 and a pink blingy one with a resin piece. And I'm wondering if, did you make that resin piece or did it come like that? Very pretty. It's like a, um hills and valleys very pretty and so we got some words here one says forever and precious precious and few yep and together very nice thank you i don't have any of those either and here is more ocean themed stuff we have you can't you're not gonna be able to see it but it says bon voyage down here in blue and it's stickers and the, the um, what do they call those, porthole windows. I'm not sure what these are. The anchor, the ship. Um, playing cards, it must be a casino boat. <laughs> and like the stripes you can put on it and things. So yeah, and there's a couple other things in blue, but I don't know what they are. So anyway, thank you so much. I have my sea theme going on here. All right. And what do we have here? Oh, it's a sticker that says garden. How cool is that? Very cool. Thank you. I've never seen that before. Wow. I like that. And here's the stuff to go with it. The um, watering can planter and some other planters. And they're in silver. These look like dazzles to me similar anyway stickers they're silver stickers very pretty i love them i'll definitely make use of them and birdies and more birdies 
birdies. Lots of birdies. Yay. I like birdies. My cat likes birdies too. <laughs> That's why she doesn't go outside. <laughs> One of the reasons. Anyway. Oh, goody. More beach stuff. Sea theme. Like there's the lobster and the beach ball and the shorts and the flip flops and a star and a hat. Very cool. I'm definitely going to have to do some beach. Oh, some beach theme stuff. Oh, oh, that's Callie. She just has a little bit more white on her. And this is my daughter's kitty. Well, sort of caster. Oh my gosh. But that one is just, <laughs> oh my gosh. And she has a little white on her front paws. Oh, how adorable. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just put the birdie on, I mean, the kitty on top of the birdies. Oh, we got a little envelope. Cute. And they have a hole in them, so I guess that's like to use for those envelope. I think I've seen people making those envelope flips, like you hook them together and yeah. Cool. Oh, and look at these hearts. Did you color these? Or did they come like that? They're really neat. They look like they've been colored in, but no, I think they came like that. They're made to look like that, maybe. They're really cool. They're like botanical hearts or something. Very cool. And here's a little note card. Two little note cards to go with the envelopes. Thank you for that. Yay. And a frame. That's really cool. I'll have to use that on a card or... A journal maybe a journal cover I don't I haven't done many other than little mini albums I haven't done journals or anything but I don't know if I should because I have enough like notebooks and stuff but mm, I don't know I haven't jumped on that bandwagon just yet anyway thank you so much Gail if you see this um, she didn't put a card in so um, but she did write David V's challenge on the outside. So thank you, Gail. I'm not going to try and put that in right now. Okay, we'll put that over there. And I have one more envelope. It's from someone named Lynn Lee in North Carolina. Let me just see. Oh, let me see if there's a note. Ooh. Okay. It's someone named Brenda. Oh, don't worry about being a little late. It's fine. Yes, I absolutely look forward to spring and summer. We just had a teaser of a weekend. Let me tell you, it felt like we went from winter to summer. And we're back to winter again. Except we've got the April showers. But cold. <laughs> yes, he says it's been a cold winter. Sending you page flags and a bookmark. Hope you have a great week. Thank you so much, Brenda. Yep, I can use the page flags, and, I, and it says, keep it simple, which I need to get better about. Let me tell you. I was thinking about that the other day. Having just gone through cleaning out my mom's house and, and being amazed at how much stuff she had that she, you know, wasn't using like a quarter, or three quarters, maybe more than that of it, um, the last like four years or anyway, probably longer than that. And seeing how much stuff I have accumulated, and a lot of it in the last five years since I started making jewelry and doing crafting, <laughs> my house is so full, I have got to start doing something about it. So, yeah, I got to stop buying. So, unfortunately, I have a haul video to do next, <laughs> but, and, and there's a couple more on their way, but soon after that, I'm going back to the hashtag 100 things challenge and I'm going to try again with the no spending or li very little spending because I have to. Anyway, thank you so much, Brenda, for the keep it simple page flags and also the close, uh, close pen, paper clip. I will use that in my, my um, oh, I cannot talk today, my planner, which I have to do tonight still. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful week, and I appreciate everything you all have given me in the David V. Challenge. I so appreciate it. I think I sent mine out already for this week, and 
so I'll just wait for David V's for next week, next Sunday, to get the next batch out. Enjoy, everyone. I'm enjoying this challenge so much. And thank you, David V, for hosting this and doing this for us. Um, yeah. And I'll talk to you all soon in haul videos. Bye for now.